It's time! Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Achievements HD, and welcome to this EA Sports UFC game review. Now, this game did come out on July 17th. And uh, so I've had about a week to play this game, and it is made by EA. Uh, it is actually made by the Fight Night team, and that's why they've delayed Fight Night to focus on this game, to release this game. And uh, to be honest, it didn't really disappoint. Now, uh, you know, uh, starting off, it is a next-gen game. It is only out on the Xbox One and the PS4, and it definitely shows that it should be only on those consoles. Starting off with the visuals, it is just... It is an amazing game visually, uh very good graphics definitely made for the next gen graphics next gen systems uh, the facial molds of the fighters are just very nice it definitely closely resembles uh, the actual fighters in real life it is it, it is very realistic looking so uh, the fighter facial molds very nice the sweat and blood drops and cuts and stuff very realistic now sometimes the cuts on the face can kind of be uh, definitely definitely kind of I guess the linear, if that's the word I'm looking for, where it's kind of in the same spot all the time. Um, but I, I guess you can't really change that too much. Also, another thing, when you can punch someone, when you get a very clean punch in, whether in the face, in the body, uh, you could definitely see the body ripple a bit, which is uh, which I thought was pretty cool. You could def definitely uh, get kind of a, like a small satisfaction knowing that you got a clean hit uh, by seeing the body ripples. Uh, so uh, that, that's a good indication. Also, with the long-haired fighters, you can see them kind of brush their hair back when the, uh, the hair gets in the waist. I thought that was kind of pretty cool. So visually, this game is pretty amazing, pretty uh, nice, definitely meant for the next-gen graphics. So uh, visually, this game looks beautiful, and uh, it is very nice. Now, going on to the gameplay, though, basic controls are pretty easy to understand. You know, the punching, the blocking, uh, takedowns, passes pretty easy to understand those uh, maybe playing the tutorial a couple of times uh, definitely playing career it helps out with learning those basic controls now you could there is a mode called the challenges there's about 100 challenges I believe and you could use that to learn more of the advanced techniques the advanced controls that will help you you know move through divisions in the uh, online divisions which there are five divisions of the white belt the blue belt purple belt brown belt and the black belt being the top division and definitely you're going to want to learn the advanced controls to move up those uh, those divisions because some of the players that play this game are very very good very very solid i'm going to talk a little bit more about online now though um, and some of the issues that i found playing online playing against these people that are very good and that well, the first thing is Passes, passes, which I mean is like kind of like getting into a better position on the ground, um, you know, getting into side mount, getting into north, north, south, north, south mount, uh, full mount, and stuff like that. I find it's just too easy. It is way too easy. Um, you can defend, you can kind of stuff it, but if you don't hit it in like the second that you have, like the split second that you have the chance to, uh, the guy's gonna pass on you. And also, uh, standing up and defending is kind of easy to kind of doesn't make sense while I'm talking about this but um, let me try to explain maybe you can see on the screen right now with the gameplay but uh, passing people are too easy but then standing up is also too easy uh, because you only have like a split second to kind of hit hit the right trigger down to kind of defend the uh, the guy trying to stand up trying to push you away, push you off to stand up so uh, you need to hit the, in the split second. I think that's kind of unrealistic. I mean, if you have already control of the guy, he's not going to stand up very easily. You're going to um, kind of hold him down. So I'm sure that's kind of hard to uh, program into the game, but I just found that passing and standing up and stuff like that far too easy. Another thing that was very, very annoying for me is, um, which I think you will get used to once you get... Um, more learning more of the controls but the clinches once the guy has you with the head down the knees just come raining in and it's very hard to get out of that um, which kind of sucks because he just he just keeps spamming the knees and like I think just the animation of the guy hitting you with the knees uh, makes it so that you just can't really get out of it so uh, I found that a very uh, kind of an issue but overall the online experience is pretty fun uh, I do have sometimes some people do rage quit the game and I'm not too sure what it does uh, people rage quit it, the game doesn't count as a win for you which is quite annoying because I had a point where 
this guy just was a butt masher. He was butt mashing, uh, so I, all I could do was defend. So at one point, I decided that I'm just going to keep taking him to the ground, keep taking him to the ground. And uh, he rage quits in the third round just because he said that I'm going to win the decision and that he just didn't want to play anymore. So I thought that was annoying. You don't get the win for that. Um, I, I guess you can't really do anything about that. But I think when people rage quit the game, you should probably get the win in divisions because otherwise it's just a waste of time. But uh, the online experience pretty decent. I think the matchmaking is definitely based on... At, at this point right now since there's the game is still pretty new uh, you're gonna have a, a kind of wide range of people playing in divisions I mean even in the third division the purple belt division I was finding kids that was pretty awful at the game so um, you're still and then while in the white belt division the uh, lowest division you're, you're finding people that are really good at the game so at this point I think the matchmaking is definitely based on location um, or uh, internet connectivity because I, I have not really found games that are very laggy so um, that, that which is good which is good because I prefer it not to be laggy rather than uh, finding someone I guess that's really bad and then have a laggy connection because that's not a fun experience so matchmaking I think is definitely based more on the uh, connectivity to your opponent which it should be so um online pretty decent you have divisions like I already mentioned you also have tournaments which I think are only open during the weekend and you only could play them uh, you only have one chance to win it, and if you don't win it, then you have to wait until the next tournament window. So uh, that can be quite annoying, but it kind of gives you more incentive to be good at the game, and every fight is like your last fight kind of thing in tournaments. And I really enjoy playing the tournament. Uh, I played the uh, Starter Cup tournament and I actually got to the final and lost in the final, which uh, to a guy that was just spamming takedown. So that was quite annoying. But overall, the tournament mode is... Uh, is fun but is only open at, for a short period of time and you don't get play through him once but uh, moving on from the online you have the offline mode which is career mode you also have you also of course had the exhibition mode where you could just kind of you know a pickup fight against uh, two fighters and also in the unranked match before I go into the career in unranked matches you can actually use your creative fighters in, in the uh, unranked matches against the uh, online opponents which I thought was pretty cool but going on to the career, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you start from the bottom. You actually start in the elimination match of the ult Ultimate Fighter to try to get into the Ultimate Fighter house. And then you have to win four straight matches uh, to get the UFC contract. And then you fight your way to the belt. And most of the fighters in your division are actually creative fighters because, you know, you can't really... They didn't really put... Even though there is a ride, variety of uh, fighters in the roster in the game... Uh, you're never going to have enough people in one division to uh, kind of keep going through your uh, career. So there is about, I think, I want to say 30 people in each division that are created fighters that you have to fight through. And then eventually you'll get up to the um, the actual fighters, the real life fighters you're going to fight. So you're going to have to, you're going to fight your way up. It takes a, definitely a while to uh, fight your way up to the, uh, the belt, which it should be. Um, your career is capped at 40 fights though. So once you hit that 40th fight, and in fact, it'll tell you after your 38th fight that your career is coming down. After your 39th fight, it'll say that you have to retire uh, after this fight. And then, of course, after the 40th fight, you retire. And then, depending on how well you did in your career, you get put into the UFC Hall of Fame, which is pretty cool. So a career is capped at 40 fights. A lot of creative fighters are used to uh, fill out your division. And on my first career mode run, I did only notice only that I only got one super fight, which is uh, fighting in the uh, higher division. I thought that maybe, I'm sure maybe in some careers uh, you will be able to fight in another division once you kind of dominate people in your own division, fight up, go up into the other division and maybe win that title too. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. If you have, let me know in the comment section below if you uh, actually won multiple titles. Uh, and I'm actually pretty interested about that. And also in career, uh, you get cutscenes from real fighters, uh, real life fighters kind of talking to you. Um, of course, they're recorded um, kind of clips, uh, which is pretty cool. Makes the career kind of more uh, unique in a way. You know, you do you get like submission of the night. You get kind of a couple fighters talking about how awesome the submission was. But later on in your career, as you keep going in the career, as you get more submissions of the night, fight of the night, uh, knockout of the night, these these kind of sound clips get very repetitive and uh at the end i just start skipping through them so um 
but yeah overall the career mode is fun I, I definitely prefer the career mode the most because it was it is a lot of fun to play and uh, it definitely helps you get better at the game also so um, the last thing is the create a fighter you ha do have the option to create own create your own fighter like I mentioned you can use them in the unranked unranked matches not in the divisions or tournaments but you can use them unranked online kind of just the single match online type thing you could use your creative fighters in there um, my only issue with the create a fighter is that I wish you can have more options you know um, you only have like a certain like I think about 20 body types you can choose from you can't make a guy with jacked arms or anything like that um, because I was, I was actually trying to make a Brock Lesnar type figure and you know you, you kind of find the body type for Brock Lesnar but he also the dude has giant arms and you just can't find you can't change the arm size or anything like that so that was quite annoying you also only have a couple faces that you can choose through and then of course the tattoos you only have a certain amount of tattoos that you can put on your guy and they're already in fixed places you can't move the tattoos around which kind of sucks um i, I kind of had an issue with that but i think they could have done more with creative fire they could have added more options more ways to make it uh, unique maybe uh let you kind of make some weird faces I, I don't know uh i wish there was more options in the creative fighter uh to make your fighters even more unique but i guess maybe that's hard to do uh to use a guy online like that i'm not i don't know um but i just wish there was more creative fighter stuff so uh the main game modes you have the online of course you have the online divisions the online tournaments you have career mode and of course you have the challenges and also you have this thing called fighter net which uh, you can use to upload your highlights, your cool knockout or stuff like that, funny moment, anything like that, you can upload that onto the fighter net, and then I think people can like it or stuff like that. I don't really use it. Um, so, But overall, this game, pretty solid game, pretty nice visually. Like I said, it is a be beautiful game visually. It is definitely a game made for next gen. I think gameplay-wise, it is a solid game, uh, solid controls. It can get quite annoying sometimes, can get quite repetitive on the career mode. Um, but overall, it is a fun game. I'm going to give this game a 7.5 out of 10. It is a solid game. It is definitely worth picking up, but it is not a must-buy. So you, um, if you're not like rushing to get this game, but if you're pretty interested in it, wait until you can get it used. Wait until some price drops or sales or stuff like that, and then pick this game up. Try it out. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. I'm still playing this game a week later, so that definitely tells you something like that. I've been playing this game a week straight almost. So 7.5 out of 10 pretty decent game from ea sports ufc but that's it for me guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this make sure to hit the like button below and if you're new around here make sure you hit subscribe in the comments below let me know how you liked ea sports ufc if you agree with some of the things i've said if you don't agree and if you agree with my rating and give your own rating on the comments below but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later